Yellowstone National Park is a popular destination for vacationers and nature lovers. But if you don't obey the park's rules and regulations, it's possible to end up in off-limits areas where the water is dangerous and even deadly. How can Yellowstone's water kill someone? It all starts with the fact that Yellowstone is basically a giant volcano. Hot springs result from ancient rainwater percolating through the Earth's crust and getting superheated by all that geological activity. That water can also come into contact with the huge variety of chemicals that like to hang out in volcanoes. Those chemicals can make volcanic hot springs not just hot, but also pretty acidic. Just not all the time. A study published in 2012 by researchers from the U.S. Geological Survey examined why not all of Yellowstone's hot springs are alike. When hot spring water gets hot enough to boil, many of the volcanic gases that contribute to acidity, like hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide, can also vaporize and separate from the water, meaning some volcanic waters, when they reach the surface, are actually at a neutral to basic pH, around 8 to 10. Waters like these create Yellowstone's famous geysers. The acidic pools are often less spectacular in nature and more stagnant. They actually occur when those volcanic gases meet groundwater. The carbon dioxide can dissolve in there and lower the pH. And even more fun, exposure to atmospheric oxygen as well as heat-tolerant microbes can convert the hydrogen sulfide to sulfuric acid. So the crazy hot volcanic gases turn ordinary groundwater into very hot, acidic pools of pure danger. Which brings us back to the handful of unfortunate folks who have died in Yellowstone's waters over the years. Strong acids and bases can destroy tissues, including tough ones like bone and hair. But the pH of Yellowstone's acidic springs only goes down to around 2, which is enough to cause slight burns at room temperature, but not enough to be super, super deadly. More dangerous than the acid in these springs is the considerable heat. And water temperatures in Yellowstone often register at 92 degrees Celsius, about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and most springs are well over 150. For reference, your hot tub should never be set above 104. 150 is getting into cooking temperatures. It's more than hot enough to be unsafe without the acid, although heat definitely makes acid burns worse too. Some hot springs mix with cooler groundwater to make them safe to swim in on their own. And some, including Boiling River and Yellowstone, can be mixed with cooler water deliberately for a comfortable swim, but only in places where that's been determined to be safe. What all this means is that hot springs are a wellspring of crazy geochemistry, and you definitely can't tell just from looking at them which ones will slow roast and dissolve you alive. So, uh, swim smart, okay? Thanks for watching, and if we've sold you on that Yellowstone vacation, be sure to subscribe, enable notifications, and share with whatever friends you're gonna drag on that road trip with you. We'll see you next time.